think it's being used very cleverly and appropriately. There's very little tech application right now to the children grade eight and under in the chat GPT, and I think that's appropriate. Um, I think in many instances, the children are more tech savvy than their teachers. Um, and I think that's a good thing. I think also we have to be careful that we don't allow the use of technology and the current things we're speaking of, which are beyond exciting, we don't allow it to eclipse our humanity, that we make sure we build in extra doses in the classroom of children to uh, use their reflective capacities and to use their empathic capacities to uh, really allow them to have time to relate with one another because you get so involved with your uh, technology, sometimes to the exclusion of others, although there are wonderful social problem programs as well. So it's changing, but I can tell you, as fast as you say everything's changing, and I believe you, you know, you, you get a neck swivel there. But I think children are not changing. Their mental health is changing, their anxiety levels are changing. They're no different from when you were. They need to know there's someone there for them. They get just as embarrassed as you would have at seven uh, if you didn't know where you were. So I think it's really important that we marry up the discussion of uh, the normal sort of expected development of children compared to the fast pace of the, the world in which they live. So the people who are introducing all the wonderful technology we need to work with them to make sure they understand the receivers.